Greetings, I, the War Al greets you. Surprise, surprise, after a short beta test period, the new Inferno is live. It caught me off guard, I thought it was coming out next week. So now that it's out, it's time to learn how to play it. Because of the completely new visuals and slight changes to cover, we have to craft every single smoke, flash, Molotov throw from scratch. I think that's exciting. So I spent some time coming up with some replacements to the basic throws you 100% have to know in order to play the map. First, B Site. Because of the nearly identical layout of the site, the smokes in Molotov locations will be roughly the same. The smoke to block off CT spawn is still very easy to throw. Place yourself in the corner of logs like before, only this time you'll bump up a little bit. Don't worry, that's completely normal. Aim at the rightmost scaffolding and move your cursor up until you reach the first wire, and then throw. This will be just far enough so that players can't scoot through the smoke into the cubby and catch your team off guard. As always, this is a must-know throw for standard bombsite B tanks. For new players and new teams, you should be throwing this smoke every single time you do a B site tank. It's very important. Next, the spool smoke, or I guess the coffin smoke. Coffin smoke just sounds like the name of an old western TV show. Line up on the bottom right corner of the leftmost window. Aim at the end of the fence and then move your cursor upward until you line up horizontally with the corner of the overhang that's jutting out. Then do a regular throw. This one will block off not only the path from construction, but also will prevent visibility for a player playing on top of the coffins. They will have to jump up on top of the top coffin in order to see, or will be forced to fall back to construction. This one works well when you throw it at the same time as the CT spawn smoke. So with these two smokes, you can execute a standard B site take. Now, the Maltovs. As you're working on taking banana, Maltoving sandbags has always been a good idea. Now there's a lot of extra room there though, so you have to make sure that your Maltov spreads across the entire spot. I've just been Kentucky windaging throws as I'm running up the right side of banana and haven't really missed one yet. As long as you make it over the wall and bounce on the corner, it's probably going to be good. There's a lot of little corners and cubbies in B-Site, so it's important to Maltov off as many as we can. Dark, new box, and oranges are perfect for Maltovs. To make some combustible citrus fruits on first oranges, which is the most common place to Maltov, stand in between the car and the building and line up with the plywood. Then aim where the overhang intersects with the wall. Then you're gonna do a jumping throw. This will bounce off the skybox. I recommend learning how to do it without jump throw binds as I don't think those are fair to use in competition. This one will take some practice to get right. This is the most precise one we're gonna be doing today. The fire spreads in the direction of impact, so if you're slightly off, a player could still survive in first oranges and still be trapped there. Keep in mind that Maltov throws can be interchanged with grenade throws, but the Maltov only costs 100 more than the grenade on the T side, and they're infinitely more useful on this map in particular. Fire is powerful on Inferno. I guess that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because they closed off B site, I can't figure out a good way to Maltov new box from Banana now, which I'm guessing was by design. If you find a way to do it, share it with the community because I would like to know that one as well. I wasted way too much time trying to find it. The way I'm doing it now, let's assume you've already thrown your smokes. I jump up on this ledge here and then jump and throw the Maltov over the box to force the player out a new box. The smokes provide you with cover, so you should be able to do this safely. For dark, get up on the wall. You can boost with a teammate here to be faster, or you can do a self-boost off of the car. Walk to the far end of the wall, aim at the corner of the tree leaves, and just do a standing throw. This is a beautiful Molotov that will completely deny dark. Flashing this site is completely different because of the slope of the roofs. Before, I armed you with two different flashes to throw that would help you take the site without flashing your own team. This was accomplished by having them land safely on the roofs. This won't work anymore, so I've come up with two replacements. The first is pretty basic. It's just flashing over the top of the roof into the middle of sight. This is how to do it to get the right arc so that you don't flash your teammates who are in banana. When you're up close, aim at the top of the overhang. Don't worry, the flash goes in its arc a little bit up, so it's not gonna hit the overhang. When at medium range, aim at the top two thirds of the other wall on the left just try it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Try it a little bit up, try it a little bit down so you get an idea of where the range is where you don't hit the roof and you don't go too high and flash your teammates. When you're further back, like let's say you're rotating to help your team, so you're like the last guy and you wanna help flash them in, do a running throw as you're moving up banana and aim a lot higher, like aim where the trees are, a little bit above the trees. Once your team is pushing, you can still flash without hitting your team. 
line up so that the top of the antenna is in the middle of these two overhangs, then aim directly at the antenna. This one will flash players in sight watching your team move in, but it won't hit your own team if they're facing left. If they're pushed up a little bit further, it will only have like a little bit of a flash effect on them, so it's not a bad thing. I hope this helps. If you guys find some good throws, make sure to share them with the community. I think the best place to share this kind of stuff is the Counter-Strike subreddit, so that's slash r slash global offensive. Let me know if you'd like to see a video like this for the basic A-side throws. I found some good ones so far. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer. Boiler, but I hardly know her.